Welcome to Gelato Passport. Once we log in in the app, the first step is to write a name for our recipe. For example, we can call it cream. When we do this, you will see that new fields appear. Then the next step is to decide how many ingredients we have in our recipe. We can just write the number if we know, or we can change it at any time with the arrows. Let's start with six ingredients. At this point, we can simply decide what are our ingredients. So we go on the first row and, for example, type milk. Then we go to the next one and we add cream and sucrose, dextrose, steamed powder and stabilizer. At this point, we can simply write our recipe. For example, we write simple recipe. Okay, now we wrote a recipe to 1000 grams, but you can write any recipe at any amount. At this point, let's see what are the values that we have in the table. The first column is sugars, and I will talk in another video deeply in about sugars. Then we have fats, then we have protein, other solids, the total amount of solids, water, which is 100 minus the total amount of solids. Then we have PAC or the sucrose equivalence or also called the freezing point depression factor. And then we have POD or uh, relative sweetness. Then we have percentage. This is a very useful tool because if our recipe it's not for 100 or 1000 grams, but it's for 650, for example, we know exactly what is the percentage of each ingredient in our recipe. So we can easily rewrite it for 100 grams. Or we can keep under control the percentage of each ingredient. Then there's another column, as you can see, that now it's empty. This will be filled when you decide how much you want to produce. For example, let's say we want to produce 3 kilos of this recipe. We write here in production 3. And here we have all the amounts to produce in total 3 kilos of our recipe. In the next column, there is the price that is available for Gelato Passport Plus users. So, just to conclude the video, you see in the green space you have a simple sum of all the values and in the red line you have the percentages of your recipe. So you can go and check what are your balancing values of the recipe. At the end you also have, if you have Passport Plus and you can put your own prices, you have the recipe cost for one kilo.